Hi, Miles here. Today we're going to talk about price reductions. According to the National Association of Realtors in 2019, there's been a 15% increase in the number of properties listed that have received price reductions. And 70% of the properties sold sell for less than less price. So price reductions nowadays in our particular market, which is a normalizing market, you're going to need to see price reductions as a tool to move the property. Now when you do a price reduction, you need to understand what you're doing, you need to do it properly in order to move the property. You have to look at the big picture. The big picture is to sell the property. So you may have to lose a little bit of money in order to make some more money in the return. And I'll explain to you how that works in a minute. Now the first thing I've seen with improper price reductions is I'll see a $300,000 house and what they're due is every five days or once a week they do a hundred dollar price reduction so you have to take a look at this you have you have a buyer driving around a the neighborhood they're not going to say honey stop the car they just did a hundred dollar price reduction on this three hundred thousand dollar house it's not going to happen it's not going to make a difference and keep in mind when the price reductions are done you have to agree to them in writing so the real estate agent can't just go in the system and drop you a dollar each day or a hundred dollars each day without your permission every price reduction has to be done in writing signed by you the other thing I see is is agents will do for example a thousand dollar price reduction once a week or once every two weeks and they keep dropping a price like that unfortunately that's going to end up costing you more money as I was speaking about earlier. The reason being is a thousand dollar price reduction on a three hundred thousand dollar home is not going to make a large impact. More importantly, when agents and buyers search for homes, they go by certain thresholds. So they're going to say, give me everything below this dollar amount. When you do a significant price reduction, you attract attention and you drop your property into another threshold. That means you're going to appear on more lists of buyers and agents to purchase your home. That means more buyers, a larger buyer pool, more exposure, more offers. When you do a price reduction for $1,000 a week or once every two weeks, you may have to do 10 that's $10,000 in order to get an offer. Or you do a single production of 5000 that single price reduction could probably do the trick rather than spending $10,000 in price reductions, which is your, your equity. So in the second scenario, you actually end up losing $5,000 because you didn't properly do price reductions. Hope this helps. Any questions, let us know.